Well, welcome to Banjo Tui. Um, I I said this a lot during the Banjo Kazooie. I feel like this game is, on a technical basis, better. But I definitely enjoy the first one a lot more. I have no opinion because I have actually never beaten this game. Yeah, they just wanted to go a little bit more story heavy on this one, which I can respect. Yeah. Also, 2D doesn't appear in this game at all. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Uh, she doesn't appear at all in any other Banjo game. She's only in the first one. I did not realize that. Yep. 2D only exists in the first game. I don't know what happened to her. I don't know where she went. I have a feeling it's like Akira Toriyama with launch. And she, they just forgot that she existed. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. Yep. So, uh, this is gonna be a long episode, I have a feeling. Uh, because over half of it so far is cutscene. Oh, well, you gotta start somewhere. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, look through the window and he's right! I'm not falling for it! That poor fish. That poor fish has no choice here. It's just gone. And Bottles, acting as main tank of the group, and doing a splendid job of failing his role. Bottles, acting as the main crux of the plot here as to why we do anything in this game. Well, at least everyone did fine that we care about. I mean, Tootie wasn't here, so screw it. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's fine. He can walk it off. Banjo's had worse. <laughs> See, even his glasses made it. Some good impact resistance, though. Oh, he's dead. Well. Well. That's unfortunate. You remember all of your moves from the first game, right? You still have them. <laughs> what if I told you I have a rather short-term memory on these things? It would explain some of the time, some of our play sessions. <laughs> Hush now. <laughs> As long as he's got that shield up, you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Just gotta dodge his attacks. Okay, I think it's the one on the right. Yeah, I think it's... It's a shading. Is it? Well, I think it, the one that... Uh, the one that moves last is always going to be him, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Okay. We'll pull off that idea. I feel like he didn't always look that way. No. I mean, eating that many potions probably doesn't help. Uh, what, please beat him with? Oh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Klungo's a little messed up. <laughs> Loving memory of the Grey Jinjos. Oh. Yup. So there are no Grey Jinjos in this game. <laughs> There weren't any in the... In the previous game either, no. So, in this game, uh, you still have your Jinjos, but you have a different number of Jinjos of each color, and instead of collecting a certain number of Jinjos in each stage to get a Jiggy for that stage, you collect... Uh, okay. I, don't I don't remember how many Jinjos are in each stage, but you do still find them, and then once you've gotten all of them in a single color, they give you a Jiggy. Is that kind of the overworld jiggies? Yes. I see. King Jingling? Oh boy. So, uh, yeah, this is B.O.B. Uh, Bob. The big blastomatic or whatever. And it can suck out and shoot out life force. To be fair, kind of a better plan than just hang out in beautification device for hours on end waiting for the right moment to flip the lever. Yep. So now they're just going to shoot the laser and suck out life force from the target and store it in the big tank. And once they have enough, they can restore Grunty to life. See, now this makes sense why they have to wait a, wait a spell on this one, huh? Yeah, this one actually makes a bit more sense. 
the last one made no sense as to why they kept waiting. <laughs> Are you ready for more cutscenes? <laughs> yeah. First golden monolith, if you wish to prove yourself worthy. Oh, Are you man. good at puzzles? <laughs> I like puzzles. Banjo, how did you get a massive ghost hand? Well, Through the I... power of Jiggy Wiggy. Can I use this in regular play? No. No? No? Too much to ask? Alright. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> and now we see the power of the Crystal Jiggy. Maximum Jiggy Wigginess. Maximum over Jiggy. Yeah, there... That's just an LED bulb in a crystal housing. <laughs> you can't fool me. And then it goes up to the satellite. And then it gets shot back down from space. Hmm. I keep wanting to say Scientology, but I feel like that's not the right one to compare this to. Bam! Didn't even get shot down from space. Alright, never mind. <laughs> All that to open a stone door. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I am a fan of convoluted means. <laughs> so, I do know one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, well, A, collect notes. I like notes. Because uh, you're going to need those. So, your note score in this game is cumulative. So, instead of just, okay, you've collected the required number of notes on this stage, it's you've requ acquired the required number of notes across all stages to get the new move. That is what no notes do in this game. To be fair, they sort of did that in one as well. That's true with their note doors. There are still a hundred notes on each stage, uh, but in order to get your new move in each stage, you have to have the required number of notes. So, still a hundred per stage, so... Yeah, no, it's just the same thing said in a different way. Right. And Jam so, jars! Yup. Okay, I hate you slightly less now. <laughs> so, there I are... I don't think I want to be... Yes, you do. Right now? Yeah. Oh. You're, you're gonna want to do a bunch of stuff with Mumbo. There's a bunch of stuff that you need to do with him right, like, pretty much as soon as possible to unlock a bunch of areas best in the shaman stage. In, oh, I was about to say best shaman in game, only shaman in game, but that's not true. Yup. We've got a new transformer in this game. And if I remember correctly, they kind of hate each other, don't they? Yes, they do. Very competitive with each other. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Put it in the bag? Yeah, uh, if you go into uh, Humbo's hut with Mumbo, she just tells you, get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, actually, I'll just let you explore a bit. Okay. If I need backseating, I'll let you know. Okay. I'm going to try and avoid backseat gaming. Because I know I tend to do that. I also know that you just am not are not terribly familiar with this, so... I, I vaguely remember that I needed to go here, and I think... Oh, did I just skip something? Uh, I think you just skipped him saying, Oh, this is one of my magic circles. If you press... I think it's either B or Z here. It B. Will, you can perform magic. Okay. So, you will have a limited time to control this guy, and you need to break open a bunch of doors. You will be using warp pads quite a bit in this game. Yeah. Because I, the worlds are quite a bit bigger. I know I attempted to pick this game up again, but I didn't... I've already made it farther than my attempts. <laughs> because the idea of how large some of these stages get was always a bit daunting to me. Yeah. So now you can grab ledges, and while you're holding on to ledges, you can attack B. Huh. That will be very important for most of the game. So this is Humba Wumba. Hmm. I feel like I saw your sister in a bikini last game. So now, we have our new Transformy Lady. Since Mumbo doesn't do transformations anymore. And sometimes there are exits behind her curtains. Hmm. 
You are now a stony. Which means you can talk to the other stone people. Apparently transforming means that I learn languages. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. I mean... Honestly, Stony Banjo is probably one of my favorites. Which is cool because you'll be using him a lot. Hmm. Sun, Moon, Star, Moon, Sun. Oh, okay. I just flipped the So it's just two. left and then right. <laughs> Equally bad. There we go. Celebration noise. Except, you still get nothing. <laughs> Hello, little rabbit friend. <laughs> Dilberta. Hmm. So, uh,. I take it he moves to a different, or she moves to a different stage. Yes, she's actually from the next stage. So you gotta come back here after you've gone to that stage and gotten the drill bash. Okay. And then Ooh. you can get rid of that rock. Well. And get a jiggy for that stage. Yes, I live down here now. <laughs> Where are you, Kazooie, in all this? I know, right? Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I was saying. But they're short on players, so you might as well go on in anyway. <laughs> Alright. I think you're in a pretty good spot here. Red is giving you a little bit of difficulty, but... Alright, cool. Better. Yay. And that earns... All of that work earns you a single jiggy. <sighs> I'm gonna hate this in the future, aren't I? Oh, yeah! <laughs> First stage, already making you have to backtrack to get everything. <laughs> they start off strong with that, huh? Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I don't like this one as much as the first one. Not a huge fan of the backtrack. I really don't like backtracking in games. So, about that first person shooter. I was worried about this. Luckily, it's only in specific areas. But now you can go into Target Zan's temple, which is the thing you're right behind right now. I see. Yep. Oh dear. Yep. Oh no. Don't get those. You're already full. Oh no. Do I have to lay waste to a boss? How did you read my mind? <laughs> ominous cutscenes are ominous. Yeah. You've beaten me, now suffer as I invoke my sacred self-destruct. So yeah, he will actually damage you if you get near him. I take it I did that correctly then. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, you beat a boss. Ah, the treasure chamber. You look like a greedy asshole, what's up? It's terrible, I can't find Target Zone's favorite priceless relic. Thingy. I think it might have been stolen. Yeah, who gives a shit? Help Chief Bloat sound. Bloat is in. A jiggy, you say? I do take kindly to bribery. So, uh. This. Like, little sections like this, I do appreciate. Uh, because it shows how the worlds intermingle. Um. Like, I don't like how in this game you have to do a lot of backtracking. Oh. Um, I just can't. But okay. I, I do appreciate in this game that a lot of the worlds do intermingle a lot. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to do in this stage is one of the things that really shows that off a lot. So yeah, I think you need to fly into that top door. All right. So now I the treasure like chamber. What I okay. So that's not gonna knock me off a ledge. I do not appreciate this camera angle. No. So, fun fact. Oh? We're about to go into another stage. Down there is worth that, That's the treasure chamber, which there is more to do in there. Okay. Welcome to Ungabugga's cave. Welcome to stealth. Huh. 
Her? You can't step on the straw. It makes noise. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You just gotta tiptoe your way through it. But cheese strats. <laughs> you move too fast. Analog stick is really bad for this. <laughs> One of the final games, I think? I think so. What are you? I wonder what's inside the Banjo Kazooie game. Me too, actually. Just keep hitting it. Oh, you got it. You got yourself the ice key. <laughs> uh. What? <laughs> so, on the N64, this is how they fixed the issue, or hot fixed the Wait, issue. Did it just respond? No, one of the enemies you killed oh, earlier did. Weird um, timing. This is how they hotfix the issue of, oh, stop and swap doesn't work. Didn't think it was that high, but okay. Except instead of having, I think it was six eggs, mm -hmm. like we had in Banjo-Kazooie, there's only three or four in this game. So they just replaced all of the stop and swap things with little enemy carts? Yep, pretty much. I don't know how I feel about getting fire eggs in the coal mines. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be careful with those. <laughs> there he is! No. Learn how to fucking drill bash. <laughs> you hope. There we go. This should be drill bash. Build drill. Build drill. Oh boy, can I, is it okay if I say I'm not the biggest fan of this place so far? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Because <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of this place so far. No, Bitter Gulch has never been one I care for, frankly. Oh. So yeah, you can't go inside her wigwam. Mumbo well. isn't welcome here. Okay. Yep. And I'm pretty sure if you're transformed, it won't let you transform teleport into Mumbo's hut. He does not appreciate other people's magic. Nope. Neither one of them appreciates each other. Levitate the train. Save the train. Suplex the train. No, this isn't Kirby. <laughs> Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> oh yeah. That was always fun. <laughs> Nifty. Yeah, they're pretty... This game is typically very nice with its warps. It knows. Yeah. It knows that all of these stages are as big as Clip Clock Woods. <laughs> oh boy, they take their sweet time with this, huh? Yeah. One thing I will say about this game that will make things a bit easier on us is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, that that is pretty nice. Oh my god. Yep. That, that that's cute. That is very cute. I do appreciate that. So this is not intuitive at all. You have to jump into the flaming furnace. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something I never would have thought to do if I didn't know that you had to. And now that he's not heating up the floor, you can just walk on it. That was something, I guess. Yep. Never left first person. Yep. Get used to that. It, is that normal? Get used to that in boss fights. That, you use first person a lot. That's, uh... Hmm, I have strong feelings about this. <laughs> They're not of the good kind. But now, in every stage you go to after this, you will be able to unlock a train station, and you can take the train there. Fancy. Yep. Oh good, it just auto-does it, I don't have to hit B. There you go. <laughs> I just have to Wind jump yourself on up the on correct, <laughs> correct pixel, that's yep. all. I don't know if you can go in the water or not. I don't either. Do I have rattle physics? I do have rattle physics! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god! It's the snake all over again! Yo. There you go! <laughs> that was hard! Woohoo! I'm free! And she still looks so sad. Simply oh, tap no. A as fast as you can! I don't wanna. Fun fact, you have to beat her twice. Uh, but I don't wanna. How hard? Yes. Uh. Unlike other games where this has like a rhythm to it, this one is literally just as fast as you can. Uh, you think that was good enough for round two? Maybe. We'll find out. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, the worst part is doing all of that the first time, and then realizing you have to do it again while your arm is already tired. <laughs> it is very tired. Hey, there oh you my go. god! Thank. Oh, I'm so happy I don't have to do that again. <laughs> if you did have to do Ow. it again, I would have just taken it and done it. Thank since you. Since my arms are fresh. That was rough. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's not what I want to see. Welcome back. Do not use fire eggs here. Already switched. <laughs> so I caught more. And here you get a new move, specifically for while you're like this. Oh dear. The Ye beak bayonet. <laughs> hmm. You are going to be wanting you to use this exclusively in this section. Because there's a bunch of TNT that got out of their box. No. Shoot one and the whole mine will explode. Oh, no. Yep. So you got to use your bayonet, bayonet on them to defuse them. Mm. So as soon as you defuse one, all of them will start their timers. So timer does not start until you defuse one. Mm. Oh, and there's 15 of them. Yep. Again, from what I hear, it's actually a half-decent game as long as it just doesn't do the license any justice. Yeah. It would have been better if it was tip-tops, nuts, and bolts. <laughs> Obviously. Or nab-nuts. Or nab-nuts, nuts, and bolts. Yeah, that would have been perfect. Nab-nuts and bolts. <laughs> it's only one goddamn st <laughs> No! Aww. No. Oh. Mind if I give it a shot? By all means. <laughs> there we go. Uh, just had to show me up. <laughs> well, all I got this funny shaped nugget. <laughs> it's actually just a chicken nugget. I mean, I'd be happy with that too. Now we get to get out of here. Oh, they're not warping you. No. Fantastic. Hey, buddy. Uh, I heard you like freedom. <laughs> there we go. Thanks very much for unblocking my passage. It's worth a jiggy. Hand it over. <laughs> oh, boy. Master Bill. Ooh, I suddenly don't know. Wait, what? Did the camera just shift? There we go. Hey, I don't know how I feel about that relationship. Guess where this takes you. Hi, Bill. <laughs> well, then. Er, wait. No, this isn't what I thought it was. Oh my god, are we going to the carnival? We're going to the carnival. Yay! Oh no, it's you. Yup. <laughs> Oh, little darlings. Not personally, but I believe you've helped my husband out a while ago when he, when we still lived on Freeze Easy Peak. Oh dear. <laughs> You're Mrs. Boggy. Oh, a little older, a little fatter. He's given up sled racing and just taken to watching his new widescreen TV all day. Oh dear. I must be getting back home. I told my children, Groggy, Soggy, and Moggy, to meet me here. I don't suppose you feel like rounding them up for me? <laughs> Is she just as bad of a parent? She's slightly better. But this begs the question, 
Is this actually her? Is it just... You win a beating! I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big beating. Airborne egg aiming. What? Oh, God. No. Yup. Hmm. Now you can shoot eggs while flying. <laughs> oh, sure. Do it the not fun way. You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> I don't want none of your sass. I'm gonna get up this thing. <laughs> this is for you. Good. Do it the fun way. Be fun, Tim. <laughs> Be fun. Ah, <laughs> uh, no such thing. Now you get to do this the fun way. <laughs> do we T-pose or risk it? I mean... I never t posed. Hey! Wow, that dive. Okay. sounded like I took damage for a second. <laughs> Came on the train to visit the theme park. But those filthy rats chucked me in this cage and now I'm an exhibit. I mean, who doesn't want to join the circus? I was on my way to the lava world, uh, got captured. But mm. it saved me. These? <laughs> the years have not been kind to you. No. Got any money? No. Then get used to that cage. <laughs> oh dear. I always used to be confused by that, and I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I used to always think that you had to do some like specific stuff and whatnot. No, you just bust open with grenade eggs. <laughs> yeah, that probably would have been my uh, instinct too. Is oh, I have to unlock this later. There's nothing you can do to make me change my mind about going back to mom. How about hitting you? Wait, Ow. no, that shouldn't have been my first reaction. <laughs> Sorry. I'm off to find my mom and tell on you. <laughs> Thanks for hitting him. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's still another two to find, though. Oh, yeah. She's happy that you hit your kid. Oh, dear. Not more intruders. Well, I'll show you who's boss. See how big and strong Mr. Patch is. <laughs> yeah. Remember the grunty fight and how she was able to aim where you were going? That's all of the fights in this game. <laughs> they really... They really made this arena big, huh? Yup. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Look at me. There you oh go. Oh my god, that worked. <laughs> there you go. Eat the grenade egg. Uh oh. Looks like trouble. So I don't remember what this is. So let's see. This one's pretty fun, honestly. Oh, there goes the Globo. This is basically my preferred version of the washing machine. Interesting. Use control stick to move and press B for horn. Oh dear god. <laughs> you give me too much power. You are, I believe, invincible as the van. You give me far too much power. And now that you can honk, you can open those doors. Okay, here to enter the fearsome furnace of the inferno. Sure. That's how that works. <laughs> sure. I'm starving. Give me some fries and I'll leave quietly. Uh, wow, you've got fries. Can I have some? Can I? Can I? Can I? <laughs> I don't know if you want these. Will you give me food? <sighs> don't feed the bears, Tim. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not going back to my mom until I've had some fries. You're a little brat. You're not letting me separate yet, are you? Give me food. Let me separate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. We'll go see mom when ready to leave. Wait. He can't even do his roll? Nope. Because Kazooie's part of his roll now. He also has no attacks in this form. That's just wrong. You will learn more attacks from... She also has no attacks in this form. But she can shoot eggs, I'm pretty sure. That is a ball, actually. <laughs> He's a bear. He's a 
bear orb. You know, more hungry. No way, I just need a burger before I go to my mom. Oh, you've got some burgers. Please give me a burger. You can smell that in my pants, can't you? You just know I have it. Oh my god. You, mm, I'm I, pretty sure this kid is the poster child for Don't Feed the Bears. No kidding. Are you okay, kid? You're looking a little like me in Nuts and Bolts. Well, oh. there's one that requires only Kazooie. Okay. Yeah, from now on, you'll be encountering a number of doors that require oh. either both or one person. You have 60 seconds to score 50 points. <laughs> Get used to this minigame, because you'll be doing a lot of variations. Uh, yes, I want the rules, please. Alright, uh, against my better judgment, <laughs> let's make ourselves good. Let's the be better mumbos. character. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna power these generators by hitting them with electric with lightning. So that totally doesn't just blow up generators. <laughs> I'm not a cop. I won't tell you otherwise. <laughs> We're powering the star spinner now. Yep. Mumbo the electrician powering everything. More minigames! Okay. Oh. Oh no. I saw that animation. <laughs> Banjo, what are you doing? I actually really enjoy the saucer apparel. Hmm, this might take me a few tries. Maybe just a touch. Nope. That's you got it? a second prize. Oh my god. Do you want me to take a shot at it? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> wow, you're doing a lot better than me. Just have to get 50 more, pretty much. Well, we're also coming close to the end here now. Yeah. There Got we it. go. Okay. I was shown. Again, I've played this a lot more than you have. Yeah. <laughs> I.e., you've played it once. <laughs> I've played it dozens of times. <laughs> Fair enough. You've beaten game three with 63 points. You know, I suppose she's a good sport, really. You're in her theme park, she has all the stuff here, and she just keeps giving it to you for winning. I mean, you gotta have, you gotta be a little sporting. Then again, in the previous game, she saw you come into her castle and she's like, Oh, well, I guess I'll let him see if he can get to me before I can take out his sister. <laughs> yeah, she does have a wee bit of a hubris problem, huh? Yeah, a little bit. But, that is everything we can do for Witchy World at the moment. Except, for getting more beatings! <laughs> My morale is awfully low right now. And I suppose we will see you guys tomorrow... ...with more Banjo-Tooie. Hopefully this time with less failure. No promises. I know. <laughs>